Hello everybody and welcome to my 11th XL 2010 VBA tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to go further into using date and time in your macros. Uh, so I'm going to show you a few different uh, methods you can use on dates. Um, in particular to start off with uh, I'm just going to show you how to draw some of the dates and times out of the system. Um, so let's instead of making this date uh, equal to the date that I've written in there I'm going to make it equal to today uh, but I'm not going to just write in today's date if it's tomorrow if I run this tomorrow I want it to put in tomorrow's date instead so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put get rid of that and I'm going to put date um, and you can put parentheses on, but um, Excel gets rid of them anyway. So if you just put in the word date, and that it's going to take that and it's going to use it as a uh, time time serial and give it and put it into the my date variable. Uh, we can then so we've still got fifth of February as our second date. So what this is going to do is work out how many days it's been since um, the fifth of February. So if we put this in a message box, so message box and uh, we don't want that to be my date, we want that to be in date difference as long. So, and then we'll make this date difference. And then we just want our message box to say it has been. And then we want the date difference. So, it has been however many days, days since the 5th February 2013 right so what this is going to do is it's going to take today's date uh, it's going to then take the 5th of February it's going to find out the difference between the two and then it's going to print out onto the screen so let's just press play now so it has been eight days since the 5th of February 2013 um, so that's true because it's the 13th of February today. Um, so that was is how you'd use the current date. Now with time, um, we would use a different word. So we wouldn't put in date. What we do is we'd put in now. So let's just write this out on the screen. Um, so let's just put message box now. And then if we play this, then it's just going to come up with the date and the time. Um, and if we press it again, then you'll see the time's changed. If we press it again, you'll see the time change, changed again. Um, so that's how you can steal the the date and the time to go into your, your formulas. Now, there's a couple of things you can do as well of these. So let's say we want to know what day is going to be in a month's time. So let's take my date and make it equal to date. And then we want my date 2 to be equal to the current date plus one month. So the way we do this is we're going to write date uh, serial and then this lets us put in a year, a month and a day so we want to take the year of the current date so let's take what we do for this is we can use another method called year and we can put a date in it so we put my date um, and then that's going to give us the year of the current date we can then take the month of my date so let's put month my date um, and then we want one month down the line, so I'm just going to put plus one. Uh, and then uh, the day we want is going to be uh, just the same. 
day of the month as my date. So let's put day, my date, and then just close off our date serial. Um, and then we can write this out onto our screen. So let's just put it in a message box and put my date to. And let's play this now. Right, so it's coming up as 13th of March 2013, which is exactly what we wanted to do. Um, so that is how you can use the date serial and the year and month and day, etc. Uh, in order to work out uh, dates with parts of, of the date that you're currently using. So you don't have to just do uh, for the n next month. You could do the first day of the month by using the, the year and the month and then just put in day as one. And that will give you the first day of the month that you're in. Um, similarly, you could put the first day of the year that you're in um, by putting month was one uh, and then that will just give you so if we play this that will give you the first of the first 2013 um, so the date serial can be really useful uh, all you have to do is just stick in the three different numbers of what your day is going to be uh, so finally just want to show you one more formula that's really useful um, and that's the weekday formula. So quite often I find when I'm doing kind of reports, people want to split their information out by week. And so what a really useful thing to be able to do is find out the the beginning of the week that you're in. Um, so there's a really simple formula for this. So let's just get rid of this. So my date um, is going to equal, so it's the current date minus, and we want to take the weekday. Uh, of the current date. So, um, what the weekday is going to do is it's, you put, give it a date and it's going to return what day of the week that date is. So, we're taking the current date, we're going to find out what day of the week it is and take it away from that date and that will subtract enough in order to get us to the start of the week. So, let's put in date again as our parameter for the date, so today's date. Uh, and then we want to choose which day is the start of the week. So I want Monday to be the start of the week. Um, and then close that off. And then because it's going to be showing Monday is 1 and then Sunday is 7, it's actually going to take off one too many. Because if you imagine today's, today was a Monday, it's going to go, all right, so I'm going to have today's date minus 1. So all you want to do is just counteract that by putting a plus one on the end. Um, and then if we then play out my date. So what we're looking for now is the start of the week, which was the 11th of February. So if we play this, and boom, there we go, 11th of February. So there's a couple of different date and time formulas. Um, if any of you have any problems with date and time, drop drop a message in the comments, and I'll I'll add descriptions on how to do different things with date and time. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use uh, Boolean variables. Uh, so thanks for listening. If you're enjoying these, please 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 subscribe, and I hope to catch you soon.